Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So there's been a lot of talk that a smaller grip will impart more spin on the tennis ball. I mean, we know Nadal uses a quarter, Roger uses a three-eighths, and they're both big boys. Uh, why are they using such a small grip? Is it because of spin? Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is George. Uh, George didn't write anything, but he did support me with today's coffee. So thank you, George, and I appreciate you. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of today, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. You want to just hook up the channel. Super thanks is the way. Link is below. Thank you guys so, so much. Whoa, that's hot. Okay. All right. So. As everybody knows, Rafa small grip, Roger small grip. Um, Novak, pretty normal grip. So I thought I would do a test. So I took a blade 16 by 19 in a 1 8 grip. I don't know if you could see that, but it's a 1 8 grip. And I put an over grip on it just to make it in between a 1 8 and a quarter. And I thought of Coach Jared for this one because he uses a 3 8 with an overgrip. So this would be two sizes smaller. And I wanted to see if the smaller grip. Alan, great match as ever. Oh man, thank you so much. Next week, same time, same bat channel. All right, my buddy Hanlon and I have been playing for over 20 years with each other. I'm so glad that I have found my tennis buddy. And we just happened to kind of started playing, right? So the number one problem with tennis is if you don't have a buddy like Hanlon, you don't play tennis. Because I wouldn't have been able to play for 20 years without him. And that's when play your court comes in. There's over 27,000 people registered that you can play with. Just check out playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin. There's a tennis buddy waiting for you. All right, so will the 1 8 impart more spin and give you more spin potential versus the 3 8 So the whole thing behind the smaller grip is that it allows you to roll your wrist and release your wrist faster. Therefore, if your wrist lets go, you get the whip, you know, kind of like, you know, whipping, like with a whip, like the snap. Right, so the release with the snap would be a lot easier when it's smaller versus if it's thicker, it is harder and takes more time to let that wrist roll. Um, with the bigger grip, obviously you're able to hit through the ball and hit flatter easier, but it actually impedes the wrist release. Therefore, you know, windshield wiper or coming over and through the ball. You do, however, have to hit the ball in front of you, though, uh, to get that action. Therefore, you have to be early on time, not late. If you hit it late with a smaller grip, this part of your wrist will hurt. Okay? So if all you guys whose wrist hurts right here, 
you are snapping late, you are hitting the ball late, and you are hurting yourself. So don't break your wrist uh, over spin, okay? So we're gonna take the one eighth out. We're gonna go see Coach Jared. Um, let's see if Rob with his continental grip um, would be affected with a smaller grip too. Uh, that would be interesting because continental grip, one eighth, three eighths, I mean, he's like five eighths. Um, I even put head tape just like Coach Jared would on his racket to see if, uh, you know, just to make sure, just to make sure that there's no differences. Okay, so we'll see you on the court. All right, so just got finished. One eighth blade, 16, 19. Three eighths blade, 16, 19. Okay, I made sure I had the head guard on. Okay, just for Coach Jared here. So we everything was even. All right, since uh, Coach Rob has the mic, tell me what the difference was in the one eighth to the three eighths. Was there more spin here? More spin or more arm pain? Which one are you asking? <laughs> um, this one way better. Great job, Jared. Uh, this one, my arm hurt or will hurt if I hit much more with it, with that small a grip. That's why I asked you to do this one because you have right. continental grip. and Sometimes it moves over. <laughs> it's not always. But, but with your continental grip, you hold it in a certain way, which the thinner this is, the, the less you have behind the palm correct right so with that less behind the palm there's more there's more apt to you know twisting in your hand right when it hits wrong um, which then leads to pain going up here and you felt it huh um well I, since i shanked the first couple um, <laughs> i felt those <laughs> at least it got better after that but but was there more spin um didn't really think about the spin because uh, i was more concerned about hitting the ball cleanly Okay. and not having my arm hurt. Got it. From the other side, right. your ball um, was slower, but had more shape. Okay. So you so were doing you something. there was a bit of arc versus there was, yeah, that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas this one, it went like that. I could yeah. tell, right? The, the other one, hurt. the other one went like, like this. I don't miss as many. <laughs> Ball's a little slower though here. Ball's a little faster here. Jared. <laughs> See, when I'm playing with Jared, says his name on it, I had to channel my inner Jared. Okay. Right? When I'm hitting with Jared, I got to hit move my feet and hit, watch the ball and, you know, try not to look bad hitting with him. I get that. I get that. You'll be, uh, what's his name? Iron Man. You know? uh, if Jared can hit it so I can hit it back, we can rally. Okay. This is true. Jared decides he's tired of just bunting it back and forth with me. <laughs> Jared's a nice guy. He is. Thank so you, Jared. He's got so well too. All right, so Coach, Coach Jared, you had your three eighths. Mm -hmm. I made my one or this one eighth, just like yours, waiting almost just like yours. Now, you're obviously used to hitting with your own. Yep. How did it feel to go into a one eighth grip? 
the grip feeling a lot smaller definitely wasn't the most comfortable thing in the world but i also feel like anytime you make um some sort of small change whether it's like a grip size or a string change or a tension change i feel like it definitely takes a while to adapt to it um but yeah i just didn't feel comfortable because i felt like my hand was just grabbing way too more over the grip instead of just sitting how i usually like it on a three eights um i also found myself swinging the racket a lot faster than usual which mm-hmm. wasn't a great thing as you guys know me coming off a wrist injury i'm trying to avoid the windshield wiper as much as possible um so definitely coming through the racket a lot faster um yeah it's not too comfortable unfortunately it was an interesting test but not you know one that i prefer to say the least so yeah. was there more spin though was there more spin I don't think it was more spin. I think it was just me more so finishing, you know, with the windshield wiper a lot faster, which is probably generating the spin. So mm-hmm. I don't think it's really the racket itself or the grip size itself. It's just, you know, your swing path and swing speed on the racket, if that makes sense. So, so it speeds up. Yeah, yeah. So speeding up would actually allow you to import more spin on the ball then. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. But then also I feel like maybe with the three eights racket, if I also focused on you know, accelerating more with the windshield wiper, I probably could generate the same amount of spin as that racket. As a one eighth. I think if you made a conscious effort to go to the one eighth, that your spin would be more. Hmm. That's what I think. But does but, Jared need more spin? No, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, but here's the thing with yours. I, I noticed that you're able to control your ball better in that if you wanted to go through, you could wait until last minute, go through. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to top last minute, let's go up, right? Whereas this one, I felt like you were basically wanting to spin a little bit more just because the release was so quick. Yeah. And and you you had to decide just let's go, you know, let's go. You know, and that's kind of where this was basically forcing you to go. Yeah, that too. Because that's what I felt with this one. It's like, it's just, because it's so small and I hold it like this, all it wants to do is this. All it wants to do is this. Like holding it longer was not, not really an option, you know, because I had to hold and then like that, but it wanted to just this. Yeah. Because it's so small in my hand. All right. So to sum it up, smaller grip, more spin? No, no. Smaller grip, more spin? That's, I didn't really feel it mentally, but you know, maybe. Okay. I thought a little bit, yes, but you guys try it yourself. I, I've always thought that a smaller grip would allow you to have more spin. That's why Nadal, right? Fed goes three eighths, Nadal goes quarter. Um, test it out for yourself, guys, okay? And let me know. Coach Jared, you're on Instagram, where can they find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. All right. And Coach Rob doesn't want to be contacted, okay? All right. <laughs> guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.